We're here at the ITU studio in Geneva and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Brahima Sanu, who's Director of BDT, the ITU's Telecommunication Development Bureau, and we're going to be discussing the launch of a new initiative under his leadership, which is entitled M Powering Development. Mr. Sanu, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much. My great pleasure. I'd like to start off by talking about this new initiative uh, which you're taking the lead and I'd like to ask you uh, what exactly is empowering why is BDT focusing on it and what does it mean to you it's great pleasure to be here today empowering development speaks by itself it is small M for mobile Dutch for partnership empowering development and development means development for individuals development for the government development from the community development for the industry the operators and development for all the people all the stakeholders involved in sustainable development so um, you know as of today you have got more than six billion people who have access to at least one mobile phone and this technology has really reached the most remote areas in the developing countries. And we're talking about uh, people on the developing countries who really own this technology. So then now I see it as a golden platform for development. When I say golden platform, we have good example of uh, 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 using mobile. In Senegal, we have an experience where the, the where the the fishermen are using the mobile phone to know the price of the fish before they come down, or in uh, in Rwanda it is used to follow the 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 elf, the elf at the, the the village level. So I can give you many examples like that. In Costa Rica, we are using it for the NCD non communication not communicable diseases. So this is that there uh, already some applications that have been used already for the uh, for the uh, of the mobile. But I want really to make it bigger, to really to use this platform for sustainable development. Development for all the stakeholders, as I said, you have the government, the individuals and the disabled people, all those people should really uh, pursue their development target through the mobile technology. You talked about some examples there. What do you think are the main opportunities in the mobile technology sector, particularly in the developing world? Actually, as I said, the good thing about the mobile technology is that when you go to developing countries and visited some of them, of course, I'm coming from one of them, and you would see that people really embraced this technology. It's very important. There's a social anchor of the mobile technology. People who never had access to any technology are using the mobile phone. This is where really we have to develop people on what they own already, not, bring them, not giving them the impression that we are bringing something new. Let's go from what they are. This is what the broad, I would say broadly, the way I see the opportunities of the mobile. O of course, we can give a lot of examples, but uh, to make this, the, the history short, this is the way I see it. And the first uh, advisory board meetings are taking place in October 2013. What are your expectations for these? Actually, as ITU and particularly Telecommunication Development Bureau, our objective is to be a facilitator. I'm trying, I know that a lot of things are happening in, uh, in the mobile applications a lot at the level of, uh, of uh, the operators, as a level of government, as a level of individual, as a level of young people who are developing a lot of, a lot of applications. But again, so everybody is working on, uh, on his side. As ITU, we want to bring all the stakeholders to, have to create a platform where they can discuss and agree in the way that we avoid duplication in the way that we avoid a necessary competition, we have something common is to develop, is a development. So uh, this is really what I'm expecting from this first. You will see that in the advisory board, you have got uh, ministers, you have got operators, you have got NGOs, all those people really who are working. So I'm creating a platform for us to work together. 
Mr. Senna, thank you very much indeed for sharing all that with us today. And uh, thank you very much indeed for your participation. It's my great pleasure.